Let's go live to Wilmington okay. right now where it's very calm. This is the calm before the storm. I know it's a little difficult to see, but uh, there's a ship that is moored here. Uh, at this dock, and already the waves are picking up there at the uh, dock at Cape Fear Community College. Here's the latest on this big storm. I'll tell you, this thing just, it troubles me. The eye is so defined. And now we have this huge band uh, ejecting out of the northwest of this storm with very heavy wind. I think this storm probably is going to reach 155 mile per hour characteristics, which is one mile per hour below uh, a Category 5 hurricane. Right now it's a 4. The movement is west-northwest at 17 miles per hour. So let's follow this. This will continue as a hurricane, a Category 4, by Thursday at 8 a.m. I'm going to zoom in here. Look, just off the coast, it's going to have 150 mile per hour winds as it moves into somewhat cooler weather. Thursday at 8 p.m., 130. And we're expecting right now, and believe me, this line is going to move, all right? It's going to move. But right over Wilmington is a Category 2 storm uh, with 110 mile per hour winds. Then we believe it may actually stall a bit. Let me bring this out a little bit farther. So this is Saturday at 8 p.m. in extreme northwestern South Carolina as a d tropical depression. And that means these folks can get foot two feet, maybe even 30 inches of rain because the water source is the Atlantic Ocean, 59 right now here, and it's calm. It is really going to be a nice day. Now, we have had some fog out there, but nothing like yesterday. So I think what we're looking at is a really uh, mild day. It is going to warm up to 75. Here are the areas of fog. Terre Haute not looking good. Half mile visibility and a little bit of fog near Lapel and Pendleton. Uh, Peru's visibility is now less than three miles. When I came in this morning, I was looking at Peru. They had really a rough day. You folks up there yesterday, uh, two mile visibility, and it was 10 miles when I came in a few hours ago. You know, over the past few days, we've seen the weather bob up and down. We had those five 90-degree days. Then by the 9th, just a few days ago, our high was only 61. We did get up to 75 yesterday, and we'll do it again today. So as you plan your day, plan for some fog in spots this morning. But we'll warm up to 61 by 9 a.m., so a brisk morning out there. You may need a jacket if you're cold-natured this afternoon. I'm going with a high of 75. It really clouds up. Big concert tonight at Ruoff. Pentatonix. Now, this was a canceled concert. It's been shifted to tonight. If you're going to that concert, bring a jacket. It's only going to be 63 when the concert is over. All right, let's talk about us, shall we? And the, the forecast, I'm not changing mine, but the computer models are changing a bit. We'll see what happens. Here's the system moving in Thursday, 7 p.m., the heavy rain bands already in the Carolinas. We're dry, so look at Indianapolis and look at us. Now, as we move into Saturday, some of the rain starts to spread to Columbus, uh, Ohio, and Cincinnati. We still keep it dry Saturday and Sunday. Now, this model has the storm moving taking a, a move south for Columbia and Charleston, still raining by Sunday. And Monday, I think we could get some rain. This model says, uh-uh, probably not. So we'll see how that, how that holds out with this area of high pressure covering our territory. So 75, the coolest day out of the next several. 81 on Thursday. Then it gets hot over the weekend with the mid-80s. Monday, I'm still calling for a chance for rain, maybe Tuesday, too. We'll start to cool down again next week. Then enjoy it.